hi guys welcome back to my channel is ashley here again if you're seeing my face for the first time i'm a youtuber based in portacot nigeria if you like what you see already please subscribe today's video is actually inspired by a, a mom youtuber that i love so much bimi a she's a youtuber based in lagos i saw her video where she did a mom tag featuring nello keke which i also love so i decided to do the same and i wrote down the questions that she answered and i'll be answering the same thing the first question says, how old were you when you had your first child? When I had Nora, I was, she was born 2019. I was 28. Yeah, a few months to 29, but I was 28. What was the hardest part about being pregnant for nine months? Um, the hardest part for me, I would say, was all the sickness that came with being pregnant, all the um, difficulties. I was spitting saliva, I had acne for like the longest of time, bloating, throwing up, all of that. So everything put together was the hardest part for me. What did you enjoy about being pregnant? I will say um, the attention from loved ones, the care, the pampering, um, could eat whatever I wanted. You know, just the attention and the care from all my loved ones were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off some were accurate some were way off but they were more way off than accurate um people said you're going to love your child as soon as you see your child or you're going to you know forget all the pain it's going to ask you're going to feel like nothing you're not going to remember any of the labor pain that's a huge lie i still remember the labor pain and she's over a year old so no that was way off but the part where they say it's really painful is the most painful thing ever. That one was accurate. So some were accurate and some were way off. What advice do you have for someone who is about to have a baby? That means someone that is currently pregnant, right? Just enjoy the process. I mean, I don't miss being pregnant, but I miss, you know, the things I enjoyed while I was pregnant. Let me put it like that. So just enjoy whatever attention you're getting now. Take as much rest as you can. Eat as much food as you can. Just be as selfish as you can. Because once that ch child comes out, you have to throw that selfishness out of the window. So, yeah. Um, what has been the hardest part of being a mother? I think the hardest part is every time she's going through something painful. Um, when that thing that happens to their tummy their that gas thing that happens that was really hard for me i think that was the hardest teaching wasn't so hard like i was prepared emotionally prepared for it when she falls yeah it hurts but i get over it so i'll say that time her tummy i don't know what that thing is called again but that tummy thing that happens to them i think between two to four months or thereabouts so that was really the hardest for me what has been the most rewarding thing <laughs> the most rewarding thing i'll say hitting her milestones um i don't okay i think walking is the most rewarding because every other milestone she hit them so early that at first i was impressed then over time i was like okay that's who you are you're a you know sharpshooter you hit milestones on time but walking now became almost became a concern like 12 months she wasn't working 13 months she wasn't working like she started working when she was 14 months old so i'll i'll, I'll say that's the most um um that's the what's the question the most rewarding thing yeah to see her finally take her first steps so yes what was the most surprising thing you found out when you became a mother uh, uh, i found out that what will i say is the most surprising thing that i found out um yeah the motherhood is actually hard people on instagram and friends generally just only tell you about the sweet part about you know the mushy lovey dovey parts they don't tell you about the sleepless nights about the constant worry you know about all the difficulties the so that's the most surprising thing that motherhood is not all bliss like it is really 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 hard so that's the most surprising thing for me um most exciting milestones okay i already answered this yeah her most exciting milestone is still her walking and and i love the fact that um 
she the first few times she was doing this you will know she was intentionally doing it when she thought i wasn't looking like i don't want this woman to know i now work so let me do this now that she's not looking at me so yeah that's the most exciting milestone worst thing your child has ever done <sighs> she's too young she's not too young to for me to answer this question the worst thing she has ever done okay right now she bites me i don't know why she bites me every opportunity she gets my tummy once her face is on my body there's a probability that she will bite me somehow i don't know why she does it and it's really painful but yes i think that is the most um that's the worst thing she has ever done sorry i keep forgetting the question yeah that's the worst thing she has ever done then the next question says what habits of hers make you really proud what habits what habit of her makes me really proud um okay i like that she likes to clap for herself like she she has noticed that when she does something that i'm proud of i clap so she now tries to clap for herself or throws her hand up so yes that is i'm so proud of her when she does that and and when I undress her now to take a shower, she starts walking to the bathroom by herself. Like, she already knows what it means. So after I remove her clothes, I remove her diapers, she'll just, even if she's on my lap, she'll just come down and start going to the bathroom by herself. So yes, um, that makes me really proud. What do you have in common with your child? Oof. You already know that I don't have anything. Okay, if you don't know, I don't have any physical... I don't think we have anything in common physically okay you can see our complexion like she's not as dark as her dad i don't think she's as light-skinned as i am but she's not as dark as her dad so i like to say she took after my complexion then she has so many birthmarks like i do they are not all in the same place but yeah she has so many birthmarks like i do but other than that it's more of our personality that is alike i think she's going to talk as much as i do if not more um yeah she's going to be really dramatic like i am she has all these facial expressions that once she does it my siblings are like this girl is ex behaving exactly the way you behave like when she sees someone she doesn't like or a stranger that is trying to be too nice the way she'll keep her face or the way she will even smile at a familiar face so yeah i'll say our personalities a lot alike where do you want your child to be in 10 years where do i want her to be where god wants her to be or where god needs her to be um i know she's definitely going to be in secondary school by then in the next 10 years she'll be 11 so yeah secondary school i want her to be happy i want her to be healthy i want her you know to be making us proud to be making god proud so that's where i want her to be in the next 10 years what has motherhood taught you what has motherhood taught me um whew, selflessness patience um endurance motherhood has taught me a lot it has taught me a lot like i can't even put it in words but i think patience is the major that motherhood has taught me like with everything with every stage every activity i just exercise patience a lot now describe your child in one sentence um nora is everything to me she's Sometimes I wonder, like, what's it going to be like when I have another child? Am I still going to be this obsessed with her? But like I say, love is infinite. You can always um, create more. There's always room to create more. So, yeah, she's everything. She's, she's beautiful. She's my world. She makes me really happy. She makes her dad happy. She makes her grandparents happy. She makes everyone happy. So, she's everything. And the last question is, how have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? I have matured i have matured so much my priorities have changed i'm more focused on developing myself in ways that will make her proud of me i'm more concerned with um with raising her in a very um in a godly way and you know so she will turn out way way better than i am way better than her dad is or anyone that has existed before her and it has also made me uh, more sensitive yeah motherhood has made me more sensitive more sensitive both in a good way and a bad way if i'm being honest in a good way that 
you know I, I mind what i say to people now i know that yes words can hurt i mind what i say i mind how i treat people i'm way nicer to people now i'm friendlier to people now and when i say in a bad way like i get really hot quick now there are things that people would normally say to me before that i don't care but now i do care yeah it affects me i'm more um sensitive to things you say about my body about my baby about so many things now so yes it has changed me emotionally and mentally so and that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching and please 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 don't forget to subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video see you in my next video